Can I help you? You just gonna stand on my feet? Okay. Whatever you say. Yeah, thanks for that. I was meaning to pack my shoes. Tuesday after episode 15 or 16, I forget. I think it was 16. Love the trailer. I have a million tools to put away and 12 batteries to charge. So let's plug these in and put some batteries in them. Yeah, I think for this intro of the video, We'll run through uh, what my typical loadout is for the trailer. I don't know if any of you are curious, but well, you're here, so you're gonna watch it anyways, aren't you? Are you gonna like and subscribe? You're gonna comment? You gonna hit the bell and the notifications? I don't know where I'm going with this bit, but it's it's entertaining. Like the video. It drives metrics. I need views. I need four thousand uh, views watch hours within a year to get YouTube partnership program. You're going to help me do it. Why did I put that battery on that charger? Do it. Like the video. Subscribe. Also, yes, I know the, the camera's tilted. My cell phone holder is coming apart and there's really nothing I can do about it. So they'll just have to forgive me. Eight foot crescent night eye. I love this. They're three bucks a tractor supply right now, so get you some. UB18DF, I love this thing. 750 cord, uh, 750 lumen, 18 volt cordless lantern. Uh, the new Lufkin Classics, or Legacies, whatever they, they're calling them now. I definitely prefer the aesthetics of the old design, but I had to replace this because the end of the tape is a little bent. And old school Lufkin 12. Drywall cutout tool, M18DYA, RH18DA, uh, 1022 degree 18 volt cordless heat gun. Uh, we use this for starting fires <laughs> because we're always forgetting liars for the uh, lighters for the campfire. UB18DB, 2000 lumen cordless work light, 18 volt. Runs all day on a four slash eight amp hour multiple. This and the lantern are my main studio lights for now. And by the way, the reason I have to take so much, even though Fluff, it's, it's his trailer, the reason I have to take so many tools is because he's a metal worker. He doesn't own a lot of the tools that I own, so. And uh, we uh, generally just end up trading labor for labor. It's kind of, right now he's helping me cut firewood while I help him build his house. That's how it's been for us since we met, pretty much. Uh, finished quality rasp and a three pack of the Cheap Harbor Freight rasp. And there's, there's punches, there's the smaller screwdrivers in here, Teflon tape, chisels, which I need to sharpen, OMT blades, reset blades. An OMT sanding pad. There's a lot of stuff. CB18DBL, one of the most underrated tools that you can ever get for a wood shop. Get you an OMT, you need one. CR18DB, 18 volt cordless recip. It's covered in mud for some reason. All my tool boxes, with some exceptions, are plain out. I just, I like their boxes. They're cheap and they're good. I like cheap and good. Go to bags for now. N3804A5, quarter inch uh, narrow crown stapler. That's got some one and a half in it now. We've kind of used this and shoved it into the general purpose roll. So, subfloor, uh, some exterior trim. We did all the roof trusses with it. We've used this for a lot of things. We've even done some strapping with this. I guess this will be episode 16.5 of the trailer. 
shows what I use. This is a cordless uh, drill and impact kit. So we got our DS18DEX. This is a half inch 18 volt cordless drill. We've got our WH18DX, which is a quarter inch uh, 18 volt cordless impact. This kit comes with two of these, the two amp hour 18 volt kits for 18 volt batteries, plus a slow charger, which is good because I killed the one that came with my black impact. This drill had a three amp hour on it. And also in here we have a Crescent Apex. I love these bits. I have three uh, different varieties. I've got a 37 piece here. I've also got a 41 piece and the WH18DC. I also keep a, I think this is a 16 piece, Diablo paddle bit set, self feed paddle bits. I love these. We use the 1 and an 8th and I believe the 5 8 for a running wire. I also brought behind me our C12 RSH 2 uh, S. I said a while ago this thing is my shop queen. Um, it still is my shop queen, but I really needed a nice quality finish miter saw. So it's got a uh, 96 tooth thin kerf ultimate cutoff Freud blade on it. I use Freud pretty much exclusively in the table saw and both of my miter saws. But there's some there's some Diablo in there too. Same company pretty much. This is the WH18DC 18 volt triple hammer. Absolutely in love with this impact. And this has got the 41 piece Crescent Apex set in it. This is like my woodworking set because it's got all the way from T10 to T40 in here. Plus square bits. It's even got slotted screwdriver. Um, bits in it and some Phillips ones and twos and threes as well as these lovely uh, I think these are vortex I don't remember they're power something NP58 2 inch pro uh, 23 gauge pin nailer sweet rig. That mainly gets used for light finish tasks and stuff like that. This will be replaced soon, but it does occasionally get used. Uh, Bosch PL2632 three and a quarter inch corded uh, electric fan plane. If you want to know why I'm selling all my Bosch stuff, uh, watch my top five tools to avoid buying video or whatever I called it back then. Uh, if, I'll, if I'm smart, I'll put it in the description. However, I probably will forget. If you find it down in the description, consider yourself lucky because I don't usually remember stuff like that. This is... Handle. A type of HPT. What's the model number on this? G3612DVE. This is a 42 inch cordless disc grinder. Uh, this is the slide switch type. I prefer slide switch. Some people prefer paddle switch. It just it depends on what you're used to. There's really no right and wrong for that. So, and I usually keep a two and a half amp hour in this. Be surprised how many times you use an angle grinder on a trailer home when you're rebuilding the entire darn thing because it was neglected. A gigantic bag that Metabo HPT sent to me along with a pair of those two and a half amp hours and a pair of the three amp hour batteries. It's very welcome indeed. I do not always bring these Swanson combo squares because. These are kind of my babies and I really don't want to damage them, but they are really nice for doing uh, fine trim work. I have a 6 and a 12. I should have the 16 eventually, but I just I haven't bought it yet. 
WH18DBFL2. They do not make this impact anymore. This was my first Metabo HPT cordless tool. And for a long time, it was my only Metabo HPT cordless tool. But this doesn't always come with me. Uh, Sometimes, a lot of times, I leave it here in case I have to come home and do something with an impact. And. Our C7UR, this is a seven and a quarter inch corded circuit saw. This is my Rep Max. This is the actual first Metabo HPT tool I ever bought. It's got a 40 tooth uh, Diablo on it right now. For construction purposes, and a lot of word working purposes. Oh, here's a 12 inch uh, Swanson Big 12. This is usually the circ saw I'm using nowadays. This is the C3607 DWA with a 4 amp hour in it. It's a rear handle saw. It always gets filthy, but that's cool. This is kind of like the box that I don't really know what to do with. Got our M1808DA's cordless trim router. Amp hour on it. And our SB 3608DA 3x21 cordless belt sander. You can't even see it. <laughs> yes, I do take this with me. It's sometimes useful. And with that, I usually bring a 3 quarter inch mortising bit, a quarter inch round over. And a random, random set of cheap bits along with the fence. Sharpening a wrench. Mini tripod. Time for the weird bag. Twenty foot extension cord, which I need to rewrap. 10 footer. Aero T50 Elite, which I need to switch back over to T50 staples, so I'm going to leave that out. Aero T59, this is a electric, electric. This is electric, guys. It's meant for these insulated staples for uh, low voltage wire and communications cable, Ethernet, stuff like that. The main purpose for this around here is for tidying up uh, uh, surge protector cables. Because the staple nicely fits around those. Arrow T25, this is also for um, cables. This is for uh, low voltage wire, like uh, the really thin stuff, audio speaker wire. Uh, thermostat cables, little 12 volt wires, stuff like that. Uh, people also use these for Ethernet cables, uh, da, 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 da. mobile home construction, uh, RVs, wiring, trailer wiring, stuff like that. Lots of uses for this. I mainly use it for securing lath and chicken wire and stuff like that. More batteries. Go on with the cover on. Predico sharpening kit because you never know when you need to put an edge on a blade. Another two and a half amp hour. And some six inch, 1100 pound Bessie. Absolutely love Bessie clamps and the quick release clamps. Uh, let's see, it's in the old blue cobalt torpedo level. 
ratcheting screwdriver, cat's paw, regular screwdrivers. I don't have fancy screwdrivers, I've just got the regular acetate ones. These are cobalt from Lowe's. Seven inch speed square. Three and a half inch uh, Swanson trim square. Dead blow. Ball peen. One magnetic tack hammer. A blue and a red Crescent Lufkin aluminum chalk drill. Utility knife. I hate these auto retract ones. I have a ratcheting one in here somewhere. General tools. Uh, what do call this? That's a miter gauge, pretty much. I have a Swanson magnetic angle finder. Just got a handy chart on the back. I keep this in an old Crown Royal bag even though I don't drink Crown Royal. Someone left one here. So it just keeps it from getting scratched. This is my pliers and shears and various prying tools. We've got a little five and a quarter inch crescent mini pry bar in here. Some crescent with uh, industrial shears. Love these. This stupid thing. Some eight inch Z2s, diagonal cutting pliers. Uh, six inch crescent uh, multi-purpose needle nose. Crescent Wisp Multimax Cutters. Uh, this has a rope cutter on it, a wire cutter, wire uh, benders, bottle opener. You cut metal, sheet metal, um, shingles, tough stuff with this. Love these. Ruin vice grip, linesman's pliers. Some old cobalt electrician's pliers, wire strippers. Adjustable wrench. Vice grip, adjustable channel lock things. Arrow staple puller. And yeah, that's pretty much all I bring. Uh, sometimes I'll bring a shop back, sometimes I'll bring my table saw. Uh, Metabo C10 RJS. Uh, sometimes I'll bring the two, sorry, I got a bird. Uh, two horsepower, uh, 36 volt cord and sponge router. Some other random stuff. Uh, pocket hole jig from Harbor Freight. Bunch of random stuff. That's mainly what I bring every time I go to the trailer though. It's, it's kind of a, a process getting loaded and unloaded. I got a socket and ratchet set, some random drill bits. Ammo can with all my staples in it. That's pretty much it. If you found this video informative or, I don't know, compare it to your own setups. You guys who actually build full time, build houses full time, or electricians, whatever, I kind of have to do it all um, as far as you know what tools to bring. So, uh, Fluff uses Milwaukee. Uh, he's got a M12 right angle drill. He's got an older 18 volt drill and older 18 volt impact and uh, all of his bag of snap-on stuff. He's uh, He works on buses for a living. But usually I'm the cut guy or if something requires routers, whatever. That's usually what I do. Uh, he's usually the guy knocking the studs into place and screwing them in and stuff like that. But our areas of knowledge kind of overlap in some areas, so it, it works out. We're, we're getting it done. Uh, we have some more exterior trim to do for episode 17, which has not been filmed yet. Uh, we have the rest of the electrical to do rough in for. Then after that, we are on to plumbing, which should be fun because I don't really fit very well underneath the trailer. Uh, so for this week, 
Uh, I've said it like the past three shop vlog videos, but we're getting the uh, sponge savers done. We're getting some birdhouses made. We're selling some cutting boards, but I'm not gonna film selling stuff. Uh, we're installing the laser engraver. That'll be uh, the next video I do. Well, it'll be in the next video I do. But yeah, let me know what you guys bring with your uh, setups, you guys who build houses. I'm kind of interested. I'm not a home builder, I'm not really a carpenter, I'm a woodworker. Uh, there is a distinction. Carpenters build the houses, woodworkers build the things that go in the houses. So yeah, see ya folks. <laughs>